Good morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoy this dog, make sure you come back tomorrow. We live an old school Brookhart life. It's Sunday. Having a lazy start to the day. Well deserved. And the bucket list is playing. Um, we stayed up way too late if you watched yesterday's vlog. And it, got to, it was so late, like we signed off at 2, but I don't think we ended up falling asleep until after 3 because like Sarah and I got in bed and we were just like, blah, 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 blah. We were chit chatting all night. So I got up at, we went to bed, pro, I probably fell asleep around 3.30. Woke up at 6.45 to do my work stuff. And I actually stayed awake. I've been awake since then. Eve was barking and woke Sarah up around like what? I think you, I'm surprised you got up as it came out as early as you did, like 9 almost? Yeah. What time is it now? Noon. It's noon? <laughs> oh gosh, it's later than I expected. Sarah's getting it to editing. I'm going to make brunch. I'm going to make brunch. Just some modified babots, which is just a pan of fried up peppers and potato. And I think and we're... Onion. And onion. Forgot about the onion. Strips? Mm -hmm. I think we might hit up springs later. Might go live. I need to hydrate a lot because I'm supposed to put in double digits today. It's just going to be great. And I hope you're having a great holiday weekend. If you're in the States and you're celebrating a holiday weekend, I hope you're having a great day from around the world. And this girl says she loves each and every one of you. I love you. She loves me. See? This is Peter's cooking and plant corner. I'm gonna knock all these over. Um, we've shown you Bawatch, I think, a bunch of times. It's that Italian quick potato pepper sausage dish. Um, we just don't have any meat in there, so I'm just, I'm just, I just chopped up the potatoes. Gonna brown them up. I'll show you. I went for more of like a strip vibe right here, so I'm gonna fry these up, and then we'll toss in the onions and peppers, get some color and flavor in here. Alrighty, here is our little lunch. I'm gonna eat it with some ketchup, maybe even some of this leftover sauce from yesterday. Are you surprised that she's here begging? Looks delicious. I just like to let everybody know the rough life that Sarah lives. Cause she just made fun of me. She just cyberbullied her husband to our friends, the Earhearts in our group chat by saying the ultimate Peter rambles right now. I'm editing a really long rambling clip on the vlog of Peter while he's on the phone screaming, talking to Dom, rambling about everything screaming. going on this weekend. So, Sarah just lived such a hard life listening to <laughs> me talk in real life on the phone and in her ear while editing. And now again while vlogging. And now again while vlogging, so. Now it's Sunday. How's it a watch? Delish. I kind of wasn't paying attention. You cut it so weird. I did cut it so weird this time. I was just feeling kind of zesty. Okay, the start of packing for our little week getaway. Evie's ready for her treat because she knows we're leaving. This car is so fresh. Um, anywho, we are on our way to Disney Springs. It's starting to sprinkle a little bit, but we just figured we'd go and just like, again, like have a relaxing time there, just sit. Um, Peter's just gonna check the P.O. box. Um, and then we'll be on our way. I think, I mean, we kind of ate a late lunch, but maybe we'll get a snicky snack. I'm not really sure. We just decided on the fly. Our gas light just came on, which is so weird because we've barely been getting gas these days. Um, the gas light went on. Nice. Can you believe? I can't. I knew it was going to happen on this trip. I'm just pumped to like sit on, like I hope it doesn't storm, but it's so nice out because it's overcast and not too hot. Mm -hmm. It's going to be beautiful just to sit around. And I'm happy to report that it's the first Disney duck we've seen since all of this began. Yes, they're okay. They're thriving. So, look at this hat I found cleaning out the car. It's been a while. I forgot about it. 
Um, we're gonna go sneak through Enzo's hideaway area because we realize we haven't done that and we're just gonna find somewhere to relax. Yeah, it's really cool. Like the temperature feels awesome. It as long as the rain stays here, away. <laughs> um, but anyway, it just like feels really nice out. They're checking out if they have the energy drink that she's been hoping for. And because now, now they're still out. Well, but did you ask? No. Go ahead. No, it's the only one cooler. They said June the last time I was in there, so I'll ask again in June. Some things never change. Nothing like a good camera on the other side of the safety rail shot. Just looming over the water. We got our boys drinks. I got Coke Zero. I got some sort of lemonade, mango, tropical drink. Uh oh. I just spilled Coke Zero on my arm. Oh gosh. Now we're heading over to the Four Rivers Cantina truck. Which we've never had before. New so, one. Yeah, I'm excited. And hopefully, like, hopefully with like the changing hours or like being just back open, like, I hope they have the plant based option that they usually offer. But we'll just have to ask. Look at these fancy high tops. I think these have always been here. We just have never gotten the Four Rivers Cantina. Yeah. Got a... I'm so excited. It's a cone with no sour cream or cheese. And then instead of a meat filling, it's beans and rice. And look at this. Oh, we're so close, but so Maybe far away. Oh. Oh, there's a package delivery over those packages. Ooh, we'll open them all up. Get ready for a stage set. Look at um, this. This thing is huge. I mean, it's 12 bucks. Right, I didn't realize that. I thought we were getting like... Peter loves when you can eat the vessel that your food comes in. I love edible vessels. Yeah. They are my favorite. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Let's do this. Is it good? Tastes just like Pecos Bill back in the day. <laughs> Magic Kingdom to me has never been the same ever since Pecos Bill got rid of their edible salad bowl. Yeah. I don't know why we don't make those more often. Like. Homemade? Yeah. I don't know, but this is delicious. See you real soon, Mick. I think they're, oh, I, it's semi-confirmed that they're making their, they're doing their proposal on Wednesday, which means I think it'll be two weeks after, basically, that they'll open. How was the cone? Really good. Reminds me of just like a carnival. Yeah, I think we'll get that many times over. I can't believe that we haven't gotten it since that's open. It's been open for a long time. We've really never gotten time. it because we've like figured for, for so anybody who's not, aware four rivers is a orlando staple like best barbecue in town everybody loves it everybody's got love peace four rivers like special like the cantina version this is it. yeah this is something different than their restaurants mm -hmm. they did just come out with a plant-based option though that we can get at the restaurant they also sell food typically at espn um and a couple of other places so that's cool this is gonna be delicious. Oh, I thought oh. that was for me. I did say finish it. I thought you were handing it to me. Though. Have a kicker. Can I just have one more bite? Yeah, but that bottom's Wait. gonna be the best. Ah, <laughs> you can have a bite at the bottom. Then we gotta go. We left late. It's already 8:05, but look how sunny it is, even though it's eight. Look at. I don't think we showed it, but Marie Enzo's and and. The hideaway. Not the hideaway is not open, but Pizza Ponte. Oh, Pizza Ponte. They were is open. open. So, Hideaway should be opening up soon, but look how beautiful it looks in all of its nighttime lit up glory. Alrighty, we are headed out now. It's like almost 9 o'clock, right? It's like 8.20. Yeah. But it's, just, it's crazy how light out it is. But anyways, she just got to go on her longer run tonight. I got to pack and do just like a little bit more cleaning. So, we're going to go home and snuggle eat. she's so happy. We are home safe and sound, but it is raining, so I don't actually know if I'm going to get, um, gonna get to run tonight, so we'll see. It's so calm. Get comfy, girl. This girl literally just was laying over there and like ran over here. I don't know if she thought like to protect Sarah. 
She's on my feet. Or if she came to like pose herself for the vlog. Are you a vlogger now? After this whole quarantine? Um, it's still raining, so I'm not running tonight, which is a bummer because I thought I'd be well rested tomorrow for the beginning of our little staycation. But I'll just have to run my 10 miles in the morning and then finalize getting ready our apartment and everything. Yeah. Um, so for the rest of the evening, we're just going to chill. I'm going to figure out something quick to eat. Yeah, we forgot. Because it's 1040 like, at night and we haven't eaten dinner. You can make baked potato. I could, but I don't <laughs> like to make those because they take forever. So we're going to put on about time. Eve's favorite. Her choice. We asked, and it was kind of like the octopus during the World Cup. She, like, barked once at one movie, barked twice at another movie. Right? Evie. It is May 4th, which is my grandma's birthday. Don't ever save anything for a special occasion. Being alive is a special occasion. Mary Engelbright. Love it. Why are we staying up so late these days? I don't know. This is what it is. 1.32 in the morning. Eve's at our feet. Sleepy pup. I gotta get up in five hours to finish my work thing. And to run. And to run. And, and we'll we're... Figure, we'll just figure it We'll figure it all out. Like, yeah. we're, we're hoping to do springs in the morning just to, like, soak up morning sunshine. Maybe in those comfy chairs we found earlier today. Yeah. Um, and then we have to get ready for... Like, finish getting ready for all of our stuff. Yep. For the week. Mm-hmm. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.